Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Is it heading now for overkill? I think it is. Uh, I think it is. I mean, what, what, what day are we on here now? Uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, right? And we've got... Already we've got stories. The, the first thing the, it happens when I, when I wake up in the morning, I turn my phone on and the, the Google stories come through and there's usually one about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury went to the toilet and had a shit and there's a story about it. Uh, Anthony Joshua uh, seen doing a selfie with somebody, there's a story about it. There's, it's heading for overkill, a bit like a bit like Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Kelbrook, Amir Khan. I think it'll be another Kelbrook, Amir Khan, personally. But at least Manny and, Mo and, Flo and Floyd Mayweather, Money Mayweather, they, at least they fought, didn't they? But uh, as regards Tyson and Joshua, it, it, where, where is it? Where is the? Where, where is this going? This with these two. Look, everybody in the boxing industry knows that. Matchroom are not going to risk risk their cash cow, are they? They're not going to do it. We had all this with Deontay Wilder, Tyson, uh, Deontay Wilder against An Anthony Joshua. It never happened, and the money were there, wasn't it, from Al Heyman. We've now got it with Tyson and Joshua, and it looks to me like it's Tyson that wants to fight. I don't think Joshua's team won it. Joshua's going to say he does want it, but the, one of them would have to crawl away if they got knocked out, wouldn't it? And they might not be the same fighter again. It, such is the hype around this fight now. It's become boring. It's it's now overkill, isn't it? In my personal opinion, it's overkill. And the people that are losing out are the fans. We've had this over the years. We we never we never got to see Junior Witter, WBC champion, against Ricky Atten, the IBF IBF champion. We never we never got to see that, did we? We never got to see, uh, and I, I think that uh, that fight would have been a great fight. We never got to see Amir Khan against Kel Brook, did we? We never got to see Riddick Bo against Lennox Lewis. We never got to see Froch Calzaghe, did we? Because Joe Calzaghe vacated. So we never got to see them fights, did we? And I don't think we're going to get to see Anthony Joshua against Tyson Fury. I think that the ball has been dropped and I think that it's all about cash this business is a cash business fighters can sit in a chair and say yeah it's about legacy you're talking rubbish it's about legacy Dylan White's been going on about legacy for years now but his best belt he owns at home was a vacant British title but it's about legacy. Well, if it's about legacy, why don't you take the fight for four belts at Wembley against Joshua? Why don't you take the Pool F Eliminator fight? Because Pool F's Eliminator's come round now, innit? Why didn't you take the Ortiz offer? What about the Wilder offer? It, it's not about legacy, it's about money, but they're going to say the opposite thing. This is how I look at it. These people in the media, they play the media game, don't they? Tyson Fury plays it. Dylan White, Tony Bellew, do we believe anything that these people say? Because on a daily basis they're pulled up about their lies. Do we believe anything that Eddie Hearn says? No, we don't, do we? I mean, we just don't believe anything at all. I mean, has anybody seen Eddie Hearn's part two of his book where he's saying that he signed Barker, Kelbrook, Barker and Frotch all within a matter of weeks. It's not true, it's lies. I mean, he's been pulled up about it today. It's utter lies. I mean, I'll read the book when I get time, personally, and I'll have, a, I'll have an opinion on it. But what has become the norm now with these media darlings, people like Tyson Fury, Eddie Hearn, Bellew, Dylan White, it's become the norm to tell lies. It's now become the norm, hasn't it? We've had Bellew the other day. Look, Boxing Asylum, we're inundated with values of the week, constantly. They lie about numbers, dates, weights, everything. I mean, it's just one thing after another. I mean, they're now even backing Bellew's, uh, what he's backing, for the, the, to have another weight division, you know, between 
light heavyweight and heavyweight. They're going to do another weight division, aren't they? Well, I've been saying that for years, but I've been dismissed by them. Go on my channel, you'll see. It's all there. I've been saying it for years that they need a weight. They need a. They need a light cruiser and they need a super cruiser. They just got to keep everything as it is. Do a light cruiser, one one eighty nine, and do a super cruiser at two ten. And then anything above 15 stone, you're in heavyweight. I don't want to see super heavyweights because it always has to be heavyweight. But I've been banging on about it years. But now all of a sudden, people are talking about it like they've invented it. And they're saying it's an idea that's come from Dom Majeski. Now, Dom Majeski, right, I've met Dom Majeski. I went out for dinner with him, me, him, Dennis, Mick Hennessy. And it was me that put it into Dom Majeski's ear hole about this and he agreed with me and I'm glad that he's doing something about it but I've been banging on about it for years I think I've even got a photo somewhere of me and Dom me and Dom and all sat there having a good night eating king size prawns but we need a super cruiserweight and we need a lightweight division it's two more divisions that they can get some more sanctioning fees can't they but getting back to this overkill Tyson Fury against Joshua the problem is social media because these people want to be out there every single day. It's like they need a fix. Tyson's got to have a fix every day. And I think Joshua loves it as well. But Eddie Earn needs his fix. So he's more or less the spokesman, isn't he? For Anthony Joshua. I don't think Joshua's as bad as Tyson Fury for being at media. But when all said and done, Joshua's been carefully matched. And Tyson's got two title wins. He's not had a defence of a belt yet. And I just think that social media can make people appear, people appear to be a bigger star, a mega star, bigger than what they are because I'm seeing a lot of videos being put out on Instagram and I'm not seeing any fighting. Joshua's not fighting, Tyson Fury's not fighting, but they're in news every day. And the people behind the scenes that are pushing it, they probably want the fights, but when all said and done, I don't think that Matchroom want it. Go and look at the history of Matchroom. Before Ben fought Eubank, what did they do in the rematch? They had him on telly on Jonathan Ross, then they had Mickey Rook and James Tony on like a live feed. And they were going on about, yeah, they'll fight James Tony, they've done this, they've done that, blah, blah, blah. Never went nowhere near James Tony. Never went nowhere near. Chris Eubank Sr. has got four wins over world champions. Four. But yet he's got 19 title fights. So who were the other 15 that he fought? They're all road sweepers, weren't they? And cabbies and C and D class guys. That There were no box work in them days. And the only thing now with, with, with this box work, we can all see who, who, who's ranked, can't we? So they have to match very carefully. And they'll, they'll get experts like trainers and other fighters to say, well, he'll beat him and I don't fancy him for him and we'll swerve him. And this is what's going now. They may fight in three or four years. Joshua might take the fight. Tyson Fury might not be the same fighter in four years, but it's becoming a bit of an overkill job now. And I'm sick of hearing about it now. I'm sick of hearing about it. We're in the middle of a pandemic. They could put that fight on, charge us 30 quid, and it'll do 2 million buys. That's my opinion. 30 quid at 2 million buys. That's 60 million going into the pot. That's more than enough, but... Because these people have had a taste at Saudi money, they're just going to want more money. What do you feel about greed? What do you like? Well, you've heard what Eddie Hearn said. More. Why do you strive, Eddie, for keep going for all these millions? I just want more, Coogan. I just want more. Now, that's what we're up against here. So don't tell me, Eddie Hearn, about it. What it's got to be about undisputed. In the fans' eyes, if you put every one of them belts in bin, and Tyson does... What you can do, you can just fight for no belt and we'll, and the fans will say, well, he's the best. Or you, Joshua could bin all his belts and they'll just fight for lineal status and WBC because Josh, Joshua ain't got a WBC, has he? Once you get that ring magazine belt, you're classed as best, aren't you? Tyson's best heavyweight, isn't he, at the moment? So Joshua's got to beat him to be classed as best. Forget the belts. Fans are not interested in belts. I agree with Frank Warren. The fans want the fights, all right? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, alright?